Hello, I'm Lauren Cooper, Nutrition Assistant here in Wyandotte County's K-State Research and Extension Office. My role in the community is to provide nutrition education to low-resource families. As an educator under FMAP, or the Expanded Food and Nutrition Education Program, I teach on a variety of topics such as healthy eating, food safety, and physical activity. The foundation for all lessons taught is the importance of incorporating balance into your daily diet, specifically using the MyPlate as a guide when eating. Let's take a look at the MyPlate diagram in its various food groups. Viewing the diagram here, starting with vegetables, a typical adult needs about one to three cups a day. Um, looking at this uh, food model, this is about a cup of baby carrots. So with vegetables, you get a lot of various uh, nutrients such as potassium, fiber, and vitamin A, just to list a few. But with potassium, um, you will get uh, support of blood pressure and reduce your, and with fiber, you're able to reduce your cholesterol. And of course, vitamin A helps support a healthy eye function. Next, looking at the diagram with fruits, uh, this is an example of one cup of fruit. So adults typically need about one to two cups a day. And that can vary between the raw fruit, 100% fruit juice, or a half a cup of dried fruit. And fruit is uh, low in fat, sodium, and calories, plus there's no cholesterol. So all in all, they make a great dessert or snack. Next, we're going to take a look at the protein section on the diagram. Typically, adult needs about two to six ounces of protein, and that varies by age, gender, and activity level. So looking at this example of a fried pork chop, this is about two and a half ounces. And when you're looking at your uh, variations of lean protein, you want to focus on tuna, chicken, or fish, but really focusing on that lean meat. Um, as lean meats provide various nutrients as well, such as B vitamins, vitamin E, and zinc. And really, overall, lean meats help to support healthy cholesterol levels. And next, we're going to take a look at the grain section on the diagram here. And the adults typically need about three to eight ounces, and that also varies by age, gender, and activity level. In this example, this is a one slice of the wheat bread. And when you're considering whole wheat, or just grains in general, you want to consider a variety of different uh, options, such as brown rice or whole wheat, 100% whole wheat spaghetti or penne pasta, um, and or just bread in general. So a lot of the grains um, provide various nutrients as well, such as folate, which helps to support our metabolism, um, lots of minerals such as iron, magnesium, and selenium. And all of those help to support the bone, uh, healthy bones, uh, oxygen in the blood for iron, and then cell protection as well. And lastly, we're going to take a look at the dairy food group here on the diagram. Uh, typically, an adult needs about three cups of dairy uh, a day, and that varies by age. But looking at this example, this is eight ounces of milk. And so this accounts for one cup of milk. And there's a lot of different options you can choose uh, with your dairy food group. Uh, you can do yogurt or snack or soy milk, or if you happen to have a food allergy, uh, you could also do almond milk to get your uh, dairy food group in. And with the, with the dairy food group, you also will consume, of course, calcium, potassium, vitamin D, and protein. So a lot of nutrients in that group as well. So, it's important to remember all five food groups work together to support a healthy diet. And I really encourage you to try something new in each food group to find your balance. Again, I'm Lauren Cooper, Nutrition Assistant, and I hope you find this information helpful and you can reach me at the Wyandotte County Extension Office. Thank you.